So the difference between root mean squared error and mean absolute error isn't that great. So you can see one is higher than the other. This is because what a mean root mean squared error tries to do is it tries to make the differences blow out a bit better, especially the large ones. So here, this one is higher than that. It's higher than that is because it is penalizing the larger differences. So if we have a look at our graph over here, uh, in this value here, we have the actual value that is under the line. So what this does is when it's under the line, let's say it's under the line by two points, what this will do is it will make it into four points. They will penalize it. While the uh, mean absolute error doesn't penalize it as in the greater effect as the root mean squared error. So it's a bit more linear uh, treatment of, of the errors. While the root mean squared error is actually quadratic, which means that it's highly sensitive to increases errors that we get we can make them bigger uh, so it gives the higher weight to large errors better so this is generally better when large errors matter more so another way you can think of this is this is more of a median error um, this is more of a mean error. So uh, depending on the situation, you may want to pick this, but both should be considered. So you can think of this as medium error and this as mean error. And you you know, with median and, and mean, they have different purposes. Same with this one, mean absolute error and root mean squared. They have their own purpose. It depends on your model and what you're trying to do. But both in this instance, I would say both should be considered. So you get a feel for how far uh, your models are in terms of predicting the the data that you feed into it so both are good and both should be encouraged to be used so you can understand what's going on with your model so one thing to remember is this does make the errors seem a bit more obvious while this one sort of hides them slightly not greatly but slightly so this just treats the errors equally while this makes the errors stand out a bit more from the crowd